Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of March 15th. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Nicole Aridix. Hi there. We're moms of teens and young adults. We've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give into our obsessing. And today we're obsessing about punctuality. (laughs) So I saw a tweet that said, would you rather always be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? Um, So I thought we could talk about that and also whether your ability or tendency to be on time changed (laughs) once there were (laughs) small people in the picture and and how about your kids would you rather that they always be a little bit late or a lot early so I know I mean for me I am usually a few minutes late and I always feel bad about it so I would rather be early even though 20 minutes is kind of a long time to have to kill yeah (laughs) but you know there's always games on my phone yeah. or stuff to look at yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Now that we have our phones with us to occupy us at all times, things are much better. Right? I remember the days when you had yeah. to, I had to always have a purse big enough to fit a book in. Yes. And that was mm-hmm. a pain. And now it's all just in my hand. I have audiobooks. I have Kindle books. I have games. So yeah. 20 minutes is no big Everything. deal. However, I still am not Miss Punctuality. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember like... I feel like when I was, when I didn't have children, you know, Mm -hmm. slowing me down, I think (laughs) I was generally on time just because I am a rule follower in Uh general in life. And so that means being Uh on time. But, you know, now, of course, I'm sometimes I'm dependent on, you know, that other person to have their shoes on and, you know have clothes on when it's time to walk out the door. I don't know. I feel like I'm often the person the family is waiting for. I am am super bad. You're trying to finish one more thing. Yeah, that too. And I'm just, I'm really bad at assessing how much time getting ready will take. I am chronically Mm. horrible at it. So I will think it will take me five minutes to get ready and it will, in fact, take me 15 minutes to get ready. And I don't, I mean, I don't put on makeup. I don't do anything elaborate. I just... I just just totally underestimate how much time it costs to just put clothing on my body. So <laughs> I, I just so I feel like people are always waiting for me. And mom, it's time. So right. maybe in a reaction to that, my daughter is absolutely the twenty minutes early person. She she goes she starts work at noon. It's about ten minutes away, and she leaves a half hour early. So. Oh. Uh, you know, and she does this for everything. She's always early to places. She's very, very, very efficient about that and really should be in charge of this for our family. She, I have from time to time put her in charge of telling me if I'm being, you know, if I'm going to be late, tell me because I don't got it. And my son, you know, is always dependent on other people to take him places. So he, to some degree, is punctual or non-punctual depending on whether it's me or his dad taking him. <laughs> but mm-hmm. but I think in general he would prefer to be early than to be late. So I, you know, 10 minutes late gives everybody time to kind of, I don't know. <laughs> that just started. stresses me Break out. Break the ice. <laughs> uh, appointments I try to be on time are a little early for, especially now. People have to People have to nag me to get me to do it. Left to my own devices, I would be late. Bad. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I am. I have to be early. Like I, it just it gives me such anxiety to think about being late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am just a bundle of stress and angst yeah. if I know that I'm going to be late. And yet, yeah. I live with somebody who would rather be late than early. <laughs> oh. and, mm-hmm. and it just getting out the door for even after all these years of living with this person. Getting out the door is a constant stress. <laughs> See, I am that person in my house. It never goes away. It never goes away. <laughs> so, and it's it's all even. It involves the lead up to it. It involves mm-hmm. the during the process, and of course, I mean, I the amount of times that we've been on time when we've been together, I can probably count on one hand. But <laughs> yeah, it's really stressful. What yeah. about things like? 
going to the airport, you know, where there's like oh. a really hard deadline. He, I mean, for years, like before nine eleven, of course, and um, all the extra security and stuff, it was. I mean, we were cutting it like by the skin. You were like, the one oh. running to the gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or at least, or at least, I would be like. There was a po- there was one time when we were traveling together. And he just went off. I don't know what he was doing. I said, he said, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And the plane boarded and he wasn't back. And I got on the plane. <laughs> I was ready to go. I, I didn't, I was so stressed waiting for him. I just yeah. got on the plane and I was prepared to carry on without him. <laughs> I was just so stressed about being late, but now he's a lot better because, well, he's older too and realizes that he's got a that stuff like that where there's a really, you know, hard deadline, like you said, is, you know, he'll adhere to within about a minute or two of it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's so very, yeah, very, very stressful. It just makes for a very chaotic transition when we're leaving the house. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say I necessarily enjoyed being late or seek to be late. If if you were giving me a choice, would I rather be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? I'd probably prefer to be early because I have my phone and I can do stuff. It's right. just a time management glitch in my brain, right. apparently, that no matter how much I set out to be early, it just – stuff happens. I got an email. Mm-hmm. I, you know, this squirrel, I squirrel. Oh, so yeah. I don't even quite understand the question. Like <laughs> if it's a question of, are you always late or are you always early? You know, then you can answer that. But like, what are the circumstances that someone would say, oh yeah, I, I would rather be always late. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Is it just so- because that's not what I would, how I would answer it, that I can't even put myself in that brain space? I don't know. I mean, I can see in some, like for, for going to parties or something like that, I never want to get there early or on time because you want, you don't want to be the first one there. And then you have to make awkward conversation with the host. And, you know, it's really embarrassing until other people show up. Mm Yeah. So I imagine there might be people who feel that about a lot of things. And, you know, you go someplace, like you go to a doctor's appointment and then you wait for an hour and you think I could have just shown up 50 minutes late and I would have just sat for 10 minutes. But of course it doesn't work that way. But I can see where somebody who has a lot of stuff in their life feels like, you know, my time is important. I'm going to do things on my time. But Mm -hmm. then everybody feels that way. So you're just always going to be clashing. Yeah. I don't know. It does seem less awkward sometimes to be a little bit late. And then you have a, you have a topic of conversation because you can come in and say, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Here's all the interesting things that happened to me. (laughs) <laughs> supposed to geez i'm sorry i'm early i'll just stand over here it's fine <laughs> just pretend <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> i feel that way with zoom calls <laughs> I, go, I i never i'm so anxious about missing a zoom call but it feels it seems like everybody joins at that exact moment in time oh, so yes. i'm sitting in front of my computer like 20 minutes before <laughs> <laughs> ready to click join now because yes. if I I feel like if I've joined five minutes early because they get an alert right that somebody's yeah. Yeah. in the room waiting somebody's and, waiting uh, and yeah, going, I feel like why it's, it's 20 minutes beaver. early <laughs> I had a, a telehealth doctor's appointment yeah. like my first one ever mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago yeah. and um you know, they beforehand, they're like telling you, all, like, this is exactly how you do it. And you'll get this link mm-hmm. and you do this and do, you know, they're like really trying to explain how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I got all the information and I, they tell you to start sort of like checking in and going to the room or whatever at 15 minutes before, right? The, t- the scheduled time. So I do that. And I'm just sitting there in front of my screen and it says like, you know, basically the doctor will be with you shortly. Mm -hmm. And so then the 15 minutes goes by, then another 15 minutes goes by, then another 15 minutes goes by. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I did an entire New York Times Sunday crossword puzzle because I wasn't going to (laughs) work because I didn't want to like miss when he showed up. Right, right. So finally I got on the 
telephone to the doctor's office. I'm like, I think I'm in the right place and doing the right thing, but he's not here. Like, did I mess this up? You know, what, what's going on? And Mm -hmm. as they're asking me to, you know, explain what I'm seeing on my screen and stuff, the doctor of popped in and I was like oh my god and he said he's like oh you know I just do the telehealth like in between my other oh, what? What? So I was like oh well if somebody would have told me that yeah it's not supposed to in be all way. of this like advanced discussion right. and preparation that they yeah. gave me so I'm not gonna be your priority thanks yeah I mean I was still glad like I would have rather you know sat at home mm-hmm. in that Yes. Time, um, mm-hmm. rather than being in the waiting room at the doctor's office, like trying not to catch COVID. Like I was at home and it was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just that I was so nervous that I was doing something wrong with right. the technology. So. <laughs> I had exactly that same experience first time I did a telehealth with my doctor. And I also called the office and the the person went to check and see what was going on. And at that moment, he came on and it's like, well, now do I hang up on this poor person who I've asked to go check? Will she know that it's that that he came on and that's why I hung up on her or she's going to be these patients? They make me run around and then they're not even there when I get back to the phone. I'm just going to trust yeah. she knew. Maybe maybe that's why he came on is because she said, this person's waiting. Right. <laughs> and it was so weird. Uh, the telehealth, that's a whole other thing. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's at least when you're in a waiting room, you know they know you're yeah. waiting. Exactly. And you can go up to the yeah. front desk every so often and complain. Um, but when you're just <laughs> hanging on the telehealth line, it's like, yeah. do they even know I'm here? Right. I'm here! That's Is what I like... was so nervous about. <laughs> yeah. They need to have some sort of button on the screen you can push that, that plays a, a blast a horn on the other side so you can <laughs> or, you know, make I've a light that blink. happen in a room where I've been put in a room <laughs> and forgotten about. <laughs> I sat in that room for an hour. Oh, my. In a tiny room, and I, and that, like, I didn't have my cell phone with me because that was before cell phones. Yeah. Um, or before the they were dark, widely used. The dark, difficult days. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, just sitting there. And then I go up to the desk and they're like, oh, what room are you in? (laughs) I have long felt, and I think there's one doctor's office I went to that had something like this, but doctor's offices should have something like those, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you're waiting in line to go in and they give you an object that flashes and vibrates when it's time to go in. Mm -hmm, Doctor's mm -hmm. offices need to have those. So you could, really you do. know, you could walk around, you could maybe go to your car, you could, you know, if there's a mall across the street, you could just right. go window shop and then your thing would vibrate and you'd run back to the office. Why do we all have to sit Wouldn't there in the room? Idea. Maybe they have that now with COVID. Or know. just, maybe they, or even a text alert. Yes. Just send me a text. Yeah. Tell me yeah. when I'm going to be up next and I'll be back. <laughs> That's right. Give me a time, uh, time frame. Well, uh, the last exactly. time that I I had a dentist appointment, because, you know, during COVID, mm-hmm. the way it works is you get there, you yes. park, you call, right. you say, I'm in space yeah. number four, <laughs> and then they come out and get you. Yeah. And I got, I did, I confess, I was a couple of minutes late, like three to five minutes late at the most. Um, so, but then I called and I was like on hold all this time while they got around to answering me and um letting my hygienist know that I was there and so she comes out and she's like oh I thought you you know you weren't coming and (laughs) I said I've been here but I was just on hold waiting for someone to come and get me (laughs) so it wasn't my fault I swear yeah well Um, am am I late to be doing the conclusion of this no no I think that's me (laughs) Usually I'm early. Usually I'll jump in and just cut everybody <laughs> off and wrap it up because I get anxious that I'm going to. That's right. <laughs> you've been for for ten minutes. You've been waiting to say that's it for today's yeah. round four, and we just and wouldn't shut it. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, that is it then for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things that we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there, on our Facebook page, or on Twitter, where you will find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>